42,000 years. That's more than 15 million sunrises. It's an amount of time pretty much impossible to imagine. And that's how long ago Mungo Man lived. Mungo Man is the nickname given to the oldest skeleton ever found in Australia, and his discovery rewrote our history. Mungo Man was found here, in the Willandra Lakes region at Lake Mungo. It doesn't look much like a lake these days, but back then it would have been really wet here. Geologist Jim Bowler found Mungo Man's skeleton on a research trip in 1974. The discovery was a big deal because it proved that Aboriginal people had been here about twice as long as previously thought. Mungo Man did show Australia that Aboriginal people have been here for a very, very long time. Scientists were able to tell a lot about what Mungo Man's life would have been like back then by studying his skeleton and the burial site. Mungo Man was about 50 when he died, which is pretty old for an early human. He was tall, with big teeth, but missing two at the front. And he had bad arthritis in his elbow, most likely from spending a lot of time throwing a spear. When he was buried, he was laid out carefully and sprinkled with red ochre, so he was probably an important guy. It was a remarkable moment of realisation of, of just how modern the earliest Australians really were. To do all this research on Mungo Man, scientists took him away from where he was buried and kept him in a university lab. This made the traditional Aboriginal owners of the Willandra Lakes angry because nobody asked their permission. These are our ancient cemeteries. These are our burial grounds. These are what we are very dear to us because we know our old people are sleeping there. Taking the bones away and taking them to a city is, is taking that person away from their spirit. It led to years of disagreement between the scientists who were studying Mungo Man and the people who wanted him back in his resting place. In November last year, Mungo Man's skeleton was given back to the traditional owners of his land. Jim says over time, he's learned why that was such an important thing to do. I realise that when we took those bones away, there was a lot of hurt amongst Aboriginal people. We owe an apology for science of what science has done to the Aboriginal people in the past. And the apology was accepted. Thank you, Tim. We welcome what you just said. Thank you. Thank you. But that's not quite the end of the story. The traditional owners of the Willandra region are now deciding whether Mungo Man should be reburied and left to rest forever, or whether scientists should be allowed to study him again when technology improves. Until they decide, Mungo Man is being kept in a secret place on the country he once called home.